back to Best Benny, where we are on the hunt for the best eggs Benedict ever. Today we're at Uncle Betty's in Toronto, and as always, we're going to use our scorecard to judge these eggs Benedict based on our criteria. Scorecard out of 10. And those are presentation, the base, the protein, the eggs, hollandaise, sides, originality, overall taste, price, and service for a total score out of 100. Four different options here, and today we decided to go with the classic Benny, a buttery croissant with poached eggs on female bacon. Mm. The presentation, seven out of 10, it looks good. It comes out super fast. They weren't crazy busy. You do not need a reservation here. It looks very tasty. For the base, we're giving it a nine out of 10. This croissant is perfect. It's buttery, it's flaky, it's fresh. Per almost near perfect croissant for the base, nine out of 10. Protein, seven out of 10, nice piece of female bacon on a little bit of the thick side, but it was still salty and tasty and fatty. It tasted good. Eggs, unfortunately, we're gonna have to give it a four out of 10. They did come out a little bit hard, closer to a hard boiled egg than a poached egg that you typically see on an Eggs Benedict. So four out of 10 for that. Mmm, hollandaise, seven out of 10 for the hollandaise. It was nice, it was thick, it was tasty, a little lemony, it was a good hollandaise. For the sides, eight out of 10, these home fries were great. There was a nice portion, not too much, not too little, and it had a really nice seasoning. It also came with a little salad with a light vinaigrette, and it was a nice touch to have some raspberries and other berries in there. So for the sides, we're giving these guys eight out of 10. For originality, seven out of 10. We have seen Eggs Benedict before on croissants, but it's nice to see on a menu. It is sort of a classic. It's, it's not your traditional, English muffin, I really like it on a croissant. We're giving it a seven out of 10 for originality. So we're giving this one a seven out of 10. It's filling, it's classic Eggs Benedict. It was delicious. The eggs were a little bit on the hard side, but it made up for it with some good female bacon, sides, and a croissant. I would highly recommend checking this one out. Overall taste on this, seven out of 10. The service, seven out of 10. They were fast, they were friendly, they were attentive. And for price as well, seven out of 10. It's quite inexpensive, it was only 15 bucks. But we shared it like we normally do. We both left with a good amount of food and one iced coffee. It was a nice brunch for under $20. I don't think you can get much better than that. Seven out of 10 for the price. Okay, if we look at the score and we tally it up, we get a 70 out of 100. Again, this is a classic to the point Eggs Benedict. I think if the eggs were cooked just a little bit softer so we could get that nice, delicious, runny, gooey yolk that we're used to seeing, it could have scored a lot higher. But the croissant, near perfect croissant on the bottom of this one. And that's it. If you're a foodie like us and love Eggs Benedict, make sure to subscribe and follow us as we continue our hunt for the best Eggs Benedict ever. Goodbye for now.